Hey guys, it's me, your girl Anita, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I organize my kitchen cabinets. Now, I organized these cabinets back in October of last year when our kitchen was uh, finally done because before the kitchen was done these cabinets were when I tell you a hot mess they were a hot mess and I had said in um, my journey to my dream kitchen series that I was gonna organize all the cabinets have them nice and neat once um, the kitchen was finished but I never showed you guys what um, how I organized them and I never um, and I did not film me in the process of organizing them however I do have um, some footage of what the cabinets looked like before and then I'm gonna go through and show you what I have in each cabinet and how I've um, organized them you know for us but anyway um, what I'll do is I'll pan around show you all the cabinets and then I'll go and show you what's in each one but I'm not gonna talk because you know I can get long-winded and I'm not trying to do all that because I know y'all want to see the video so let me stop talking let me get into this video and let me show y'all how I organize my kitchen cabinets Okay guys, so I'm just gonna pan around so you can get a look to get an idea of how the cabinets are set up and how many that we have. And here are the upper ones. And down below, here are more. It took me a couple of days to clean these cabinets out. It was ridiculous, but I got rid of a lot of stuff. Okay, so here's a clip of what the cabinets look like, how disorganized they were um, before we got the kitchen finished. Um, just ignore what I'm pointing to because like I said, this clip was from my Journey to My Dream Kitchen series. But yeah, look how messy my cabinets were. They were so disorganized. Like, I shouldn't even be showing y'all this, but oh well, it is what it is. They're straight now, so that's all that matters. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to what they look like now. Okay, so we're gonna start with these two cabinets right here. And in this cabinet, I keep some of my serving dishes. I got rid of a lot of them because we don't entertain as much as we used to because we're never home. And right here, I have my neutral bullet and it's cups that go with it, as well as this accessories that I keep in this uh, little bin that I got from the Dollar Tree. I try to keep them all together. I keep our vitamins in here, um, cough medicine and things like that, as well as Advil for if anyone needs it. And then in this cabinet over here, I keep our dishes. So I have our glasses, I have some mugs, I have some more mugs, our everyday use plates, some small plates, some bowls, some more bowls, and then our fancy dishes that I use um, that I got from Target. I wanted these square dishes and I hauled them for you guys back when I was hauling kitchen stuff, but I love these dishes and I use them on when we have company. These, these are the good dishes. <laughs> Okay, and in this cabinet, I just keep Kayla's cupcake stuff because that girl loves some cupcakes, so she's always baking some cupcakes. And there's some sprinkles, and then I keep instant coffee because my mother-in-law likes uh, the instant. She doesn't like the Keurig. She likes that, so we have to have that for her. And then here, we just have some agave and like some molasses, stuff that I use like when we're baking something. We need some candles. Oh, these little trays are also from the Dollar Tree. This cabinet right here I kind of use as an overflow cabinet for items that um, I can't fit in my pantry. I just store them up here. And this cabinet I just keep some of my spices, my seasonings, my seasoning packets, my soy sauce, my breadcrumbs, my hot sauce, you know, all that good stuff. All that good little seasoning stuff I keep in here. And that tray I got from Amazon and this Lazy Susan I got from Target. Now in this cabinet, I just keep some additional um, spices, some additional sweeteners, uh, equal, Splenda, some flour, some sugar, some more flour, some macaroni. Um, in this basket, I like to keep my quinoa and brown rice packets that we get from Costco. There's some more quinoa. And that's it for this cabinet. And in this cabinet is where we pretty much keep all our food storage containers, a lot of microwavable dishes, microwavable covers, um, some additional um, bowls and things, our uh, meal prep containers, our water bottles, our protein mix bottles, our smoothie cups. These stands are actually wine racks that I ordered from Amazon. I'll try to put the link below if you're interested. Our salad bowls and some more uh, food storage containers. And in this cabinet is where I keep my baking bowl, my mixing bowls and some of my cookbooks that I use a lot and my recipe folders and then um, some of my baking supplies um, 
and my cake stand when I frost my cakes I like to use that and yeah that's it for this cabinet okay so now it's time to move to the drawers and the lower cabinets and this is our battery drawer and we keep some tools in here and this container this battery container we purchased at Walmart and it's it's really cool and you can check your battery charge with it and that's what's in this drawer this drawer right here is kind of like my miscellaneous utensils drawer. It's items that I use, but I don't use that often, so I kind of gave them their own little separate drawer. And then down here in this cabinet, I like to keep my um, some of my bigger appliances like our panini maker, our George Foreman grill, uh, my crock pot, my um, ninja blender, and my griddle. I like to keep those down below. I don't like a lot of appliances on our um, countertop, so in the Lazy Susan, I just keep our toaster, I keep the waffle maker, I keep our mini pancake maker, I keep a little mini blender, and I also keep our um, zoodle maker down here, as well as our rice cooker, and then just some um, extra Marcella packets that I got from Costco. Those things are bomb, y'all. Y'all should try them out. <laughs> And then this drawer is my utensil drawer, you know, the standard knives, forks, that type of stuff. Then in this drawer, I just keep my measuring cups, uh, yeah, just my measuring tools, my funnels, my apple slicer, a little mini strainer, that type of stuff. Down here, I keep some additional cutting boards. And in this last drawer, I keep our grilling tools. In this drawer, I keep extra sponges, dish towels, dish rags, and oven mitts. And down in the cabinet below, I just keep additional cleaning supplies. I keep my um, dryer rack. I love this thing because you can wash it and you don't have to leave it on your counter. And then, uh, you know, dishwashing things. My ant baits because spring is coming and you know the ants are about to be rampant. And this stuff works wonders. If you have problems, get it. Tarot ant bait. In this drawer right here, I keep some of our knives, uh, my cake frosting utensils. And in this drawer, I keep uh, measuring spoons, ice cream scoop, a can opener, pizza cutter, baster, just the basic stuff. Down here, I keep some of our oils. I keep our protein powders. Other items as well as vinegar. In this Lazy Susan, I keep spaghetti, which I need to go shopping, and other types of pasta. I keep oatmeal. Um, I keep straws. I need to go shopping. Um, brown rice, white rice. And then down below, I just keep some baking pans. And then another cake plan. In this drawer, I keep my hot pot holder and I keep my uh, cooking utensils holder in this drawer. Then in this drawer, this is my coffee station overflow drawer because my containers are small, so I keep extras in the drawer and then I just refill as necessary. Then in this cabinet is where I keep all my pans and this is probably my least favorite cabinet and I hate these liners because they won't lay flat no matter how I try to tape them down or whatever it just really annoys me but I mean this is way more organized than what it was but I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do in here and then this is the junk drawer I tried to organize it as neatly as possible I got these containers from the Dollar Tree and it does help me keep this junk drawer pretty neat and I you know I think it's pretty neat compared to what it and for the final cabinet there's just some pots some pans a cake holder a pitcher and some baking racks that I keep in this cabinet Okay guys, so that's it for my kitchen cabinet and drawer organization. My one problem area that I still have to do some work on is for my pots and pans because that's not how I really want it to be, but it does for now. But the only thing about having the, um, the liners down there is that I've tried everything to get those suckers to stick and they won't stick. I may want to get something with a roller put in there, but I don't know, that's not a primary priority for me but my cabinets do look a lot better than what they did before somebody sent me a message somebody sent me a YouTube message actually <laughs> but my um my cabinets do look a whole lot better than what they did before I don't have a lot of stuff I we don't entertain like that anymore so I don't try to keep what I don't need so when I cleaned out these cla cla these cabinets I got rid of a lot of stuff so 
yeah so that's my kitchen cabinet organization as you see I have a lot of cabinets and a lot of drawers you gonna say hi girl <laughs> ignore her but anyway um yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for rolling with your girl. I love y'all. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.